structures. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the dynamic shapes tool that comes with the Vector Scribe plugin from Astute Graphics. Now, of course, you can create stars, circles, etc. in Illustrator. There's nothing unusual about that. It's actually been probably since version one. But they're not dynamic. So, uh, one good thing about this, they're dynamic. And here's dynamic shapes. It's a nice little palette or panel of uh, different settings. And you just create a star, just quickly create a star like that. And it's interactive. So, you can just quickly say, I want more. So, more points to that. And just quickly go through. Modify the path as well. Obviously, standard sort of tweak in the first star design. You can also change if you don't want the star design. You can actually just go through all the various different settings, lips, rectangle, circle, etc. So another thing you can also do is add corners to it. And I'm just going to go for three. Just put three in there. So you can actually see you've got dynamic corners and you can of course modify them in numerous ways. Once they're actually that you can change that down. So you can create a vast range of different uh, star designs, and in this case, obviously, a, a gear design that's uh, probably not so easy to create in Illustrator, or certainly not very fast, certainly not interactive. So that's a quick uh, run through of the Dynamic Shapes tool. There's lots of options here. You can uh, various things here. You can obviously convert it back or remove the dynamic status if you wish. That's another thing. Right, once you've actually done that, of course, you can uh, Let's say use it as you would with any other path in Illustrator. Now, one thing I would love to see in the uh, tool would be more shapes. I mean, why stick with this lot? I mean, surely you could actually have a panel here with, say, 10 or 20 different shapes. There must be like pie slices, I don't know, different L shape designs. I can't think of all of them at this moment. But certainly, fireworks and other applications have come with like auto shapes. Something that would be really nice in Illustrator, and something that this, in the sense, is approaching a sort of auto shape sort of feature. So, anyway, great little tool, and uh, hope you found this quick uh, run through of the plug.